the chocolates. Look at all the chocolates you can see. Cheese. <laughs> Love eating all day long. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the treats they have. Okay, I see you. you. Hello, if you're new to my channel, my name is Grace, and I do a little bit of Costco haul, a little bit of Trader Joe's, a little bit of Cook With Me, Shop With Me. Um, so on this video today, I will not be listing the item for each product. However, I will be mentioning them as I go along. I do have my receipt right here. As you can see, the total I spent was $55.88. So with that said, let's get started. Um, if you're interested, you can screenshot um, the receipt to see how much each item cost. Uh, let's start with the bananas. The bananas, I believe they were 19 cents each. Um, so I grabbed a couple of those. Um, we also grabbed some jelly beans. It's not featured on this video, as you can see, because I left it in the car. Um, I let her have a couple, and then the rest I'm hiding. Um, it is in the receipt. Um, the receipt shows that the jelly beans were $2.29. And then the next item over here, I have never seen this. I don't know if this is a new item and something I've just missed. Um, but this is the dark chocolate drizzled plantain chips sprinkled with sea salt. Um, Kalia actually saw it because she saw the cute little monkey on it. Um, let's look at the nutrition facts in the back. As you can see, there it is. And this is $2.99. This is a very popular item in my household and we go through it quickly. Um, because it is a healthy alternative snack. This is the Everything But The Bagel Nut Duo um, with almonds and cashews. And let's take a look at the nutrition facts in the back. So this Everything But The Bagel Nut Duo, the price for that was $3.99. Moving on to another produce over here. I actually felt these. Um, I need to be making some guacamole here soon. So I wanted something soft. Um, these are the teeny tiny avocados. There are six count in that. And the avocados are $3.99, which I figured was actually a pretty decent price for avocado. Everything seems to be going up in price and I felt like that was pretty okay price for some, some good and ripe avocados. Over here, we have this organic elote corn chip dippers. This is with a Mexican style street corn flavored seasoning. Doesn't that look delicious? Sounds like it would be perfectly paired with my avocados over here. Um, here is a nutrition facts on the back if you are interested. And the ingredients contains milk it says. Um, I've had this before, it's delicious. Um, it's perfectly paired with guacamole or some salsa and that the price for this is two dollars and 49 cents another produce goodie is this yummy looking orange Kalia saw it wanted it so we grabbed that i only grabbed one because we're actually going to costco and um i do like costco produce as well but this one looked delicious and it smells pretty yummy that is 79 cents for one orange over here we have some cotton peeled carrots again the little one saw this one and she wanted it and the carrots um for a one pound bag 
That one was $1.49. Not too bad of a price. Over here, I grabbed one of each of these, which I wish I had grabbed more, um, but I can always come back. Um, this is 100% mango juice from Carabao Mangoes. And what's interesting about this is that in the back, it says it's product of the Philippines. So for all you fellow Filipinos, woohoo! I'm so interested and curious to see what that tastes like. I hope it's delicious. I cannot wait to try it. Over here, another juice. This is the 100% pineapple juice. Flipping the back. It shows you the nutrition facts, but also, again, another product of the Philippines. Um, I got one of each. Um, I'm really excited to try those, and if I like them, I definitely will be going back and stocking up. The pineapple juice, the price for that was $2.99. And then obviously there's a bottle deposit um, of 40 cents. And then the mango juice was also $2.99 with a bottle deposit of 40 cents. Um, then over here, if you know me at all, you know how much I love lemons. I love it in just plain water. I love it in, <coughs> excuse me, anything and everything. I grabbed this because they look delicious. They smell delicious. And Clea was, again, the one that pointed it out. I need some lemons for my guacamole and this for a bag is $1.99, which I figured is a very good price. You guys, you saw this in my last Trader Joe's haul if you watched the video. This is so good. Like, why is this so delicious? I swear, I could put down four, like all four, all four buttons. Um, this is the filler cheesesteak bow buns, and the price for this is well i got two of them so it was so i was saying um i got interrupted by the little one anyway um now she has a little carrot and she's content um as i was saying these are so delicious and they were um i got two of them so i paid 7.98 for both but they are 3.99 each um i got one because for me and my husband, and then I got one for my in-laws. They are coming in a few days, and I wanted them to try that out too. So I grabbed some for them. Over here, we have some chicken shumai. Um, again, if you tuned into my last video, you saw that I showed this. We tried it. It's delicious. I love it. Um, my husband didn't care so much for it, but it is yummy. Um, if you'd like, I can turn the back. So you can see the, or I guess side, so you can see the nutrition facts as well as the ingredients. You can screenshot it if you're interested. And over here is the heating instructions. For this, the price for this, again, I bought two because my in-laws are coming and I also wanted them to try that. So I paid $6.98, but for one, it's $3.49. I mean, look how good that looks. Next item over here, we have some smoked apple chardonnay chicken sausage. I grabbed this because I couldn't think of what to make for my husband's lunch tomorrow. So I think I'm just gonna cut this up, saute it in peppers and onions, um, served with a side of rice. It looks good. Um, there's the ingredients and heating instructions, as well as nutrition facts if you're interested. Um, it says all natural chicken raised with no antibiotics used. Sounds yummy. You guys, I have been looking and looking and waiting for this. Last time I went, it was all gone. But today I found it. This is the Korean scallion pancakes. I am so curious to try this out. It looks so delicious. Um, let's turn it around. There is the nutrition facts and then the ingredients as well as the heating instructions if you're interested i mean but just look at that that looks so good so as you can see it looks like this is just full of vegetables i am so excited to try it out and see what it tastes like and then if you shop at trader joe's you know that they do carry cards and flowers and and they have beautiful beautiful fresh flowers um but we didn't grab any this time but i think we'll be going back in a couple of days to grab some for my in-laws for when they come um but anyways we've 
grab three cards. I love sending cards and I thought this was perfect for the coming up holiday. If you do celebrate it, they have some adorable Valentine's Day cards. Um, if not, for your girlfriends, just to say a nice little hello, I grabbed one of these. And that is our haul. Again, for um, my total, I spent $55.88 for all this goodie. Um, <coughs> I grabbed two of the plantain chips and then um, I also grabbed two of the bows and the shoe mice, which I already put the other ones in the freezer. Um, so yeah, uh, if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. You Sorry, the little one took a bite of the carrot <coughs> and left it there. Anyways, I am so excited that you are part of my channel and I appreciate your support. Um, until next time, thank you again.